In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a random number and how you might go about using it in your projects. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. Generating a random number in Scratch is fairly simple, in that there's already a block available to you in the operator's palette, the pick random number block. It has two inputs, the lower bound and the upper bound, and it picks a random number between those bounds, up to and including the numbers that you put in. The hard part is thinking of situations where using a random number can make sense. Here's one situation. Let's start with moving characters randomly. Suppose you want a crab to move around the stage randomly when the green flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, what I could do is forever glide around the stage, and I can glide to a random position. However, when I run this, I'll quickly notice that there's a problem with it. The crab can go up into the sky, which doesn't make any sense. We have to keep him on the beach, so we have to create our own block to do this. Using this random position block just won't work. So let's replace this glide to random position block and bring in our own glide block that we're going to create. So what we want to do is have the crab pick an X and Y coordinate randomly. So I'm going to go back to the operators palette and I'm going to bring in the pick random block and place one in each of the X and Y coordinates. Now I don't want to pick a random number from 1 to 10 for the X and Y because those are really small bounds. This crab is pretty much going to stay in the middle of the screen. I have to think about the coordinates of the stage. And I know that the X coordinate goes from negative 240 all the way up to positive 240. And if you're not sure, you can drag your mouse around or drag the sprite around and you can see the limits of the stage. So along the X axis, I want this crab to be able to go anywhere left and right. The problem is, I don't want it to go higher than a specific point along the Y axis. And it looks like that point is around negative 20-ish or so. So negative 20 is the highest point I want it to reach, and the lowest point is all the way at the bottom of the stage, which is negative 180. So now I can drag my glide block into the forever block, and when I run this script, my crab should only run around the beach. Let's watch him for a little while to make sure that he doesn't go into the sky. And everything looks good. If we're creating a card game like War, using random numbers to represent cards can be a useful way to use the pick random number block. You could also use the random number generator to have a random costume appear on one of your sprites, or maybe have a sprite say something random from a list of sentences. But that's a little bit more advanced, and I'll get to lists in a future video. Or maybe you want to create a number guessing game. Using a random number in this situation can make the game much more interesting. I've actually created an entire playlist of five videos demonstrating how to create this game in a language called Snap, which is very similar to Scratch. If you watch those videos, you can easily remake that game in Scratch. So I'm going to link to the first video in that series on the card on screen. Check it out if you are interested in more advanced coding. You're limited only by your imagination, so get out there and create something cool using random numbers. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.